All right, I want to show you three of my favorite guns. One of them that I'm really particularly proud of, this old Winchester right here was made in 1895. It's a model 1894 Winchester. Uh, in 95 was the first year they came up with a 30-30 cartridge, which has been a very popular cartridge over the years. But this, if you'll notice, this rifle has a half round, half octagon barrel. So whoever bought this originally was well healed because that was a $2.50 option back in 1895. So that was a lot of money back then. But it's a nice old rifle. You know, most of the finish had gone off of it, but, you know, it's probably got a lot of, a lot of stories behind it. But I bought this in Tulsa at the gun show out there. I love the Tulsa, Oklahoma gun show. But I was walking around and there was an old guy there and he had a couple of rifles on a rack and a couple of pistols laying there. Well, he was talking to somebody, so I didn't interrupt him. But when he got a break in action, I saw this and I asked him, I said, sir, what do you want for this rifle? He didn't have a price on it. I thought he said 1350. So I looked at it, the board looked good, everything looked good while he kept talking. So I had $1,200 in my boot and I thought I'm gonna get this for 1200 bucks, you know. So he, he had a break, he quit talking there again. I said, sir, cash money, what will you take for that rifle? He said, I told you young fella, $350 and I'm not taking any less. I said, what? He said, $350, I said, I'll take it. But before I left the show that day, I, I rode the motorcycle out there so I couldn't go put it up, had to carry it around with me. All day, I was offered five thousand dollars for this rifle the same day I bought it. But I thought, you know, if it's worth that, then it, it's still worth that. So glad I hung on to it. But that's an interesting story in that one. Uh, another one down here. There's a single shot Remington rolling block here. This right here. Back about 15, 16 years ago, the Remington Custom Shop made uh, some of these new. You know, Remington uh, made the first rolling blocks back in the 1800s, and it was a uh, Excellent rifle for buffalo, stuff like that. Some military has used them, but it's a real simple action. But you cock it, open it up, put your cartridge in, close it, and then you fire. And you don't have to uh, uh, come up off the ground and work it. So, well, buffalo hunters, it was really popular back then. But Remington made these replicas, and I got to wanting one. A couple of years ago, I was up in the UP of Michigan shooting with a buddy of mine, and he had one. I couldn't find one anywhere, so I contacted somebody I know back there at the custom shop at Remington. Asked to have any more of these actions rat hole back anywhere. I said, nope, we don't have any more. So I've pretty much given up on it. Out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, again, the gun show, walking around, saw this rifle on the rack, unfired, picked it up, serial number 55, early rifle. Guy wanted 800 bucks for it. I didn't even argue with him. I just handed him the money and was glad to get it. You know, just, just the action by itself is worth more than that. But uh, I was glad, glad to find that rifle. That's one of my favorites. Uh, revolvers. Let's see what I got over here. This old Colt Bisley. Uh, it just, you know, I never liked a Bisley till a couple of years ago. A friend of mine carried a Bisley, and I really liked the thing, and it reminds me of him. And just the, these was invented was a target gun when Colt came out with this version uh, many years ago. This was made in 1905. It's got a lower hammer spur than the single action army. Got a different grip, so more for target shooting, but I really like it. It's got a lot of character to it. Not much finish left on it, but you know, uh, like I say, I like a I like a gun with honest wear on it. Just looks good. So that's one of my favorite revolvers.